in-gym loading is a Monday and a Wednesday. So when they come in, they know exactly that they have to have to start with uh, some myofascial work. So let's work on that tissue quality, keeping it healthy, um, get them moving freely with hip mobility, thoracic mobility, um, some uh, dynamic warm-up prep work, and then they get into their loading. So keeping them a little bit more single leg loaded, some squats, getting into some strong posterior chain, help them push strong to the ice, so that's your deadlifting. Uh, some really good anti-rotation, anti-extension, which is all your core work, because uh, that's going to make you obviously a better, stronger, more powerful athlete. What makes a really good athlete or a really good hockey player is how long they can stay good in the game. So can they st score the big goal in the third period? And that's the big thing is, that will come down to conditioning, but that has so much to do on on-ice conditioning. I can't control that, and I also have to watch the volume that I'm working with them. Um, because ultimately, I'm preparing them for their on ice. If I push those guys too hard, by the time they get into the game, uh, they're going to be tired, they're going to be fatigued. So there's a fine line, in a sense, of, of how hard you're going to push the athlete off ice. My biggest thing, I think, for parents is not understanding the volume and intensity of in-season compared to pre-season. That's a completely different subject. Uh, if, if you're talking about pre-season, um, that preseason program really has to progress through the summer and it has to keep, keep uh, on the mark of a whole bunch of different things of not only conditioning uh, anaerobic, aerobically but mobility and hip mobility and strength and, and really good strong core foundation. I think it's huge for us to be in a top physical shape because of course we want to reduce those injuries and we want to have a long playoff push and that's Three, three more months of hockey, so it's it's a long haul, and we just got to be in top shape. Yeah, it's a lot more important nowadays. You, um, you got to have uh, you know the conditioning and the, and the strength and the power and the speed. Flexibility is a huge part of it. I mean, it's something I've always struggled with, and I've always had to to work at. And you know, if you were to ask most of the guys, they'd probably tell you I'm one of the more uh, unflexible goalies they know. So that's uh, for me, it's a big part that I got to work on, and uh, just in general, yeah, it's it's a big part of the game. You know, you want to make sure you're in shape, especially throughout the year, because um, you know the the season becomes a grind, especially towards the end. And if uh, you're not doing your your part in the gym, um, you know you're not going to be uh, playing your best towards the end of the season. And you know that's when you really want to turn it on. So, um, you know, working with the guys, whether strength training or um, working on her flexibility and uh, mobility. Um, you know, she's been awesome, and she's always honest whenever we're here. So she's been good. I, honestly, they are a great group of guys. They are so so much fun. Um, but they also, you know, when I tell them to work hard and get going, they do it, they listen. Um, but what's nice this year is they are gelling. They're, they're a good group together, and that's what I like to see in the, in the, in the gym.